in the worst time to come out news. Oh, oh. I know what that one is. Submitted by Slinky the Wiener Dog. Oh, <laughs> I love Slinky the Wiener Dog. Oh How my god, my hemorrhoid. Don't <laughs> <laughs> say that when I'm next to you. <laughs> Those of you that didn't hear him, he said, oh no, my hemorrhoid. I didn't mean to point it at you, Case. <laughs> All I picture when you say is this big lump fucking sticking out of your fucking shorts right now. It's a vein, right? I know, but the way he says it, like it I feel like it's bad. like this. It's like a fucking big ass bean. That's coming out of my asshole. I had a hemorrhoid in college because I pushed too hard when I was shitting. I think that's what happened. And then pow. And I didn't know what that was, and I thought I had anus cancer. You guys are really comfortable with us. Thank you. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Here you go. Honesty is the key. It makes me feel better when I get to express it, because there's nothing I can do about a hemorrhoid. You just gotta wait for it to go away. <laughs> There's so much you can do. <laughs> you just vents it out. No, I mean like it's just fiber, water, and like what did you say? Cream, anal cream. Yeah, there's cream. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's that's all you can do. There's no there's no pill I can take to 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 make it smaller. There's no immediate fix. Like it's just gonna take time, you know. Yeah, kids, don't push so hard when you're constipated. You'll get a vein that'll pop out of your fucking ass. It it's not like a chap lip where all it's not like a chap lip where all you need is a fucking lip balm and then it's all better. You could use this. <laughs> I feel like this is where we put in the plug for like anal cream. Brought to you by Hemorrhoid <laughs> H. Brought to you by Gerardo's Hemorrhoid Cream. Um, House of Cards has been canceled after sexual harassment allegations have been made against. <gasps> Kevin Spicer! You haven't heard of this? Why are you under a rock? It happened over this weekend! You're watching fucking Beast Wars. I don't know what the fuck you're watching. Strength Wars. Strength Wars. Stupid ass. Be Beast Wars was Beast next. Wars? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? So what's going on, guys? Wow. You know, Low this flow. this uh this whole rumor and stuff, these stories have already been well known in the industry for like yeah. a long yeah. time. It's just now the public knows, but people that are in, in entertainment knows of Kevin Spacey's freaky ways from I back in the day. That if you are a good looking straight male or gay male on one of his projects, you're almost guaranteed to be flirted with. Flirted with? Oh, flirted with. Yeah. In a in a non-inviting way. So is Kevin Spacey uh, of the yes. wiener kind? Yes. He's, you didn't know that? No, I didn't know that. He just came out with it though, but I think what he was saying, all the insider, like everyone's been knowing that he's oh, So dead. why did they cancel uh, House of Cards then? I'll well, tell you why. So okay. this whole thing. But would you like to do my job? <laughs> you want to tell them the whole story? This is a juicy story. You know you do it. You do it. All right. So uh, the actor. Ed I'll do it. <laughs> Go ahead. No, you just kidding. Know. I, <laughs> no, like, I you wanted, waited for you to start. <laughs> I just wanted to do that. Oh, you're rude. You love this joke. Joke. Just joke. Just kidding. <laughs> All right. So actor Anthony Rapp. He's 46 years old. He was the first person to come out with these allegations, uh, and he did it through an interview with BuzzFeed, so. <laughs> oh, what a great publication. This is Kevin Spacey, for those of you guys who don't know. Great actor. Great actor. Great artist. I'm a big fan. Hey. Of his work. Yes. His Which actions. One? I like his impressions on uh, that one show. <laughs> what? He did Christopher Walken, he did, uh, the, the the something show Daily Show John something like back in the day. Like that kind Damn, of bro. Damn. <laughs> it's like watching somebody fumble through garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like him for the weirdest movie. It's K Pax. I think he did a great job acting like an alien. Oh, I remember that one. I remember that. Yeah. That was a long time ago. <laughs> that one show. Yeah. So this is Anthony Rapp. <laughs> he came out in Star Trek. Most, most, yeah, that's what he's known as. Is that for albino or not? No, no, his eyes are blue. Oh, okay. So no, he's just Rapp. white. Dude, he's forty something. He's forty six. He, <laughs> hey, he looks good for forty six. Yeah. yeah. So he came out <laughs> saying that after seeing the Weinstein allegations surface, that he felt that he needed to shine another light on decades of behavior that have been allowed to continue because of many people, including himself, have been silent this whole time. But now that uh, he, now that all this is coming out, he wants to be able to shine light on Kevin Spacey. And so what he's saying, he's claiming that Kevin made advances towards him back in 1986 at a party when Anthony was 14 years old. Oh. And Kevin was 26. And so he had picked him up, placed him on a bed, climbed on top of him, and like he was just like, just trying to get it on with this 14 year old. He's a rapist? And a pedophile? Yeah. Yeah, so then, um, so this what? is what Anthony looked like around that time. Oh, you got low standards, dude. 
<laughs> These are the well known stories of what he does. Like oh. ped uh, rapist, pedophile. Damn, dude, in my mind, Everybody's an angel. Yeah, so then after these allegations came out, Kevin Spacey came out with this statement. Would you like to read it? Oh, Kevin Spacey like impression. Go. Oh, shit. Impossible. Hard. Hard. <laughs> I can't do that. I'm just, I don't want to butcher him. Um, well, maybe after this I'll find out. <laughs> I know. I have a lot of respect and admiration for Anthony Rapp as an actor. I'm beyond horrified to hear his story. I honestly do not remember the encounter. Ooh, this is already starting bad. It would have been over 30 years ago, but if I did behave then, as he describes, I owe him this uh, sincere apology for what would have been deeply inappropriate drunken behavior. Oh, God. And I am sorry for the feelings he describes having carried with him all these years. This story has encouraged me to address other things about my life. I know that there are stories out there about me and that have, that some have been fueled by the fact that I have been so protected of my privacy. As those closest to me know, in my life, I have had relationships with both men and women. Oh. Wait, what? What does mm -hmm. that have to do with the other thing? Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> continue, continue. Uh -huh. I, <laughs> I have loved and had romantic encounters with men throughout my life and I chose now choose now to live as a gay man. I want to deal with this honestly and openly and then and that starts with examining my own behavior. So there's so many wrong things here in this whole statement, like a lot. Are gay people pretty mad about that? Very mad. Yeah. They're so pissed because of the fact he that he's literally drawing. connected raping to homosexuality. <laughs> No, no, no. It's mainly the pedophilia with homosexuality because they're saying that they have gone through decades of trying to remove that mm. like stigma or not stigma, but that uh, what is it? Like, yeah, stigma. Okay, yeah, that stigma that like uh, gays are pedophiles because apparently back in the day a lot of people would draw that conclusion and they're just like we worked so hard to remove ourselves from that and now this fool is coming over here just like connecting them again. That's wrong. The fact that he says that he now chooses to live his life as a gay man is also a slap to the face of the gay community. And so a lot of people are just really upset about this whole thing. Uh, I mean, I'm not trying to give him the benefit of the doubt, but maybe he just wrote that really poorly, but it did really He's sound- He's got a PR team, it really, It really did sound like he was Connecting to the, deflect. connect those two together. Yeah, yeah you should. You should. I was trying to <laughs> deflecting with coming yeah. out with the yeah, fact it's, that it's I don't think he was trying to connect it. I don't think he was just like, hmm, now yeah, it's my it's moment. Like, but I think it was like poorly written, and that's he's like, what I'm saying. let's let's put let's cast a shadow over the big issue by me saying I'm coming out. Because so, he wanted like what gay support? Is that what he wanted? <laughs> Probably. Let's change the topic here. <laughs> I'm gay. So what? I just kissed the guy when he didn't want to. A 14 year old boy and you were 26. And by the way, he was freaking hideous at 14. What's with your standards? I wonder why I mean, he didn't just come out and deny it. Like most people are like, I didn't do it. And then when all the evidence is presented, they're like, all right, fuck I it. fucked it. But for him, he was like, well, <laughs> that story I don't remember. Yeah. If it did happen, I was probably drunk. And it was just like, <laughs> so it's like, like yeah. he's used to this behavior. Yeah, he's like admitting to it almost. So, yeah, and excuse me. I do it all the other times, but that time though, I don't remember that one. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you guys don't drink and suck baby dick every now and then. Come on now. Which 14-year-old are you talking about? Oh, no. <laughs> Which 14-year-old? Because if it was that one, I clearly didn't touch him. Because <laughs> that one, I was drunk. The other ones, I was sober. <laughs> that's just hella bad, dude. Man, that's a really bad apology, dude. Yeah. Really bad. Like, that guy? Well, if I was drunk, maybe, but. <laughs> Like, what's the reason? What's the reasoning behind that, man? That's a little odd. And then he goes, "By the way, guys, I'm gonna let you know right now, I'm gay." It's like, what? Why? Why now? Why? Why now did this? Oh my god! And that's when people started tweeting out, like, he just invented a new thing, which is like the worst time to come out. Like, there had never been a worse time to come out before, except now. Is there like, do you guys believe in, um, like, if an artist is so good? that we should excuse some of their actions? Well, yes, I do. Wait, 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 what? Like, for example, like- Excuse their action law? Yeah, yeah. Like Kanye West, would you excuse his re- not retardedness, his, re excuse his behavior? Uh, like, for well, like the greats. What it sounds like for him, though, it like sounds Michael like- Michael Jackson, Dave Chappelle, yeah, yeah, like the great greats. Let me, let me, let me clarify something, though. Uh, when you're saying excuse his behavior, do you mean as, as a fan excuse it? Or as, like, in a court of law, like, they get a pass? In a court of law? Uh, both. I'm no, not in the yep. court of law, in the terms of fan- Fandom, yeah. uh, yes, but because I I still like Michael Jackson. I don't know if the allegations are false or they're true, but because I am a fan of his art, I'm like, cool. I like your. I don't give a shit about you as a person, even with Kanye. But what I feel if, with like if, artists and stuff. I feel like it's just something separated. But, but what in if, law, though, what if, no. What if somehow they don't they don't they can't prove this yet? But what if what if scientifically 
they pr they're able to prove it takes a little bit of crazy to be a great. You got a lot of phlegm. I know. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> if it takes a little bit of crazy to be a great, then then if we want greatness in the world, this is the evil that it comes with. Do we accept How it? How about not? they can continue their greatness behind bars? Like they can pay You're their debt mean. to society, they can still create music or all that bullshit, but then they still have to be accounted. They still but they have, have to be inspired. Ability. They have to be inspired. Yeah, but what? why at other people's expense? That's <laughs> fucked up. Wow. That's selfish as fuck. So, so in your guys' world, then, uh, in the, in the, I hope it's because if they world? scientifically no. prove, if they scientifically prove that, that means anyone that gets too good, we should already immediately start examining where do you have crazy pedophilic or whatever behavior, kind of like that. No, what you're saying is celebrities are above the law. That's basically what you're saying. Yep. Uh, and that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying <laughs> is if it's <laughs> what. What I'm saying is if it's scientifically proven. Then as a society, because we choose our artists, you know, we choose to want Lady Gaga to be here. We all buy her album, right? Like we all vote together. So if it's scientifically proven that greatness comes, Michael Jordan comes with a little bit of crazy, um, then us, do we want to dilute what our human ability is? Just so everyone could be safe, or do you're, we want to? I think yes, because you're kind of, because, no, because you're categorizing crazy as in one encompassing thing, like because crazy isn't just. Rape, this and that. The crazy is also just socially weird, socially awkward, you know. Yeah. And those aren't those aren't criminal things. Non criminal ones too. Yeah. Criminal, non criminal, crazy. Yeah, you know what I mean? True. Like I. But I do agree though because every time I meet an artist that I really admire, like from a distance, and I, they're fucking insane. Yeah. They make me look normal. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's I don't know. I don't think I'm crazy enough to be an actor. That's what I think yeah. it is. Cause like the best actors, they're so fucking weird. Like dude. even Bobby Lee, right? Like you it see him, weird. you see him in his skits in Ma on Mad TV, and you see some of the stuff that me and Joe made, and you're like, possibly, Bart and Joe are way crazier than Bobby. But that's just because we control our own material. Then you meet us in real life, and you're like, Bobby is fucking crazy as a motherfucker. Yeah. You two are boring. Yeah, we're boring yeah. as yeah. fuck compared yeah. to him. His sketch version of himself is the watered down version of his real life, you know? So now I can imagine people that are even better than him, they're probably even crazier than he is. Yeah. Even more off balance. So for me to answer your question, I would say, if it's at the expense of anyone else, no. I think, you know, but Michael Jackson. Uh, Michael Jackson is. But in the he, court of law, he should be tried. I know, but if he came to my country, he could have as many kids as he wants. Oh my God. What? I'm against pedophilia, but there's an exception, okay? What? Michael Jackson is fucking dope. Never a fucking exception. There's a lot of orphans out there that need loving. <laughs> Okay, can you clarify? Because I think I'm not following. You're digging yourself a hole here. Well, maybe maybe we see something he doesn't see. Let's clarify a little bit. Or well, maybe he sees something you don't see. If Michael Jackson feeds on the blood of fucking young boys to make his music, I will fucking personally get those kids to donate blood and so he could oh, drink that blood. motherfucker. Just blood. That's all you... That's if, if he needs to fucking bite the anus of a child for him to become a musician, <laughs> he, sh he deserves it. He deserves so it. So then you're, you're down to give him your own child? Yes. It's Michael Jackson! <laughs> I'll fucking, wow, look at this look, donut. I'll fucking pop out five kids so three of them could be normal and two of them would be donations to Michael Jackson <laughs> if he was still alive today. But, you don't know how yeah. much I fucking love Michael. I'm, right? I'm, I'm not associating myself with you <laughs> no more. We're going to be right here. Let's be realistic right now. Okay? No, I'll never you donate my child. Are, you guys are crazy. You want all the benefits of these crazy artists, but you don't want to do any of the sacrifice. That's like going to war, time. okay? Like, you got to give yourself up. To win. But for war, people volunteer to that shit. I'm volunteering my children. <laughs> <laughs> it's Michael Jackson. Let's hear what the defendant has to say. Not guilty. I liked This Is It. I watched the movie. I wanted to go to this concert just because, but I'm more like giving back. Like, hey, you were a big part of my childhood. You gave me a lot of hope and imagination. You made me feel great. Let me give back to you. All right, so back to Kevin Spacey, though. <laughs> so there are uh, three men that have come out so far accusing him Damn. of certain things. So, for example, there was this, uh, a Mexican actor named Robert Robert Ca Cavazos. Cavazos. 
and he wrote on Facebook that Kevin had grubbed him in a bar in London, that he walked over to him and just grabbed his entire package. Those are the type of stories I hear. Yeah, and then also another a filmmaker, Tony Montana, same thing in 2003. Tony Montana! <laughs> and then there was this other Say guy. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> there was this other guy named Dan Beal who was approached by Kevin Spacey back in 2010 when he was 19 at a bar in London. And he whipped out his dick, and in order to keep him quiet, he gave him his watch that's worth more than six thousand dollars and then after he gave him his watch because this guy he worked at the bar that he went to um in a hotel and then after kevin spacey like the next day he had his people call the hotel and say like this guy had his watch and then the guy was like oh no i lost it but in reality he had already sold it but then like they were like he just kept harassing him and and then he even asked them like hey do you smoke weed let's go to my room i got weed and he just kept like trying to lure these people out so these are the men this is the Mexican actor. Oh, he's an actor. I was like, what's a Mexican dude doing in London and shit? That shit made no sense. No, that was in a different. Oh. Yeah, and then this is the <laughs> filmmaker. He looks like a bootleg train spotter guy. <laughs> this is the guy, the the guy that worked at the bar that got the watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He got a watch from Kevin. Yeah. Shut him up. Is it that watch? Yes. Huh. I'd suck his dick for a nice watch. <laughs> well, he said he sold it, but apparently he just kidding, knew the person. Kidding. You know, oh, what, you know this what makes one's me just sad? kidding. That's the other one. The other stuff. The other The other volunteering yeah. kids. And then, no, no, no. But yeah, so then, now after all this came out, people are looking at his accept acceptance speech when he won the Oscar for American Beauty. And he, this is part of his speech, quote, To my friends, for pointing out my worst qualities, I know you do it because you love me. And that's why I love, I loved playing Lester because we got to see all of his worst qualities and we still grew to love him. So a lot of people are now speculating like, oh, he's talking about himself because uh, the character Lester in American Beauty, he's like this creepy guy going after his daughter's friend. Yep. And so now they're just drawing connections there. And also Netflix has announced that they're, they have suspended production for season six of House of Cards. Uh, and then now they have to review the allegations and all this stuff. But yeah, they were already saying that the, season six was scheduled to be the last season of this show. So it's not because of Kevin that they're canceling it. It's just. I agree. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, it's been you, sucking. Has it been sucking? Oh. The first three seasons of House of Cards were just, they were next level. Like, they were like, wow. It, it's, it's what put Netflix TV shows, like, produced series on the map. And then our election happened, and our actual real politics were more entertaining than <laughs> it's this shit. Yeah, and well, it got boring. And oh. you know, you know what's interesting is uh, someone I, I saw this meme where they're comparing Donald Trump with uh, Weinstein, right? And mm -hmm. Weinstein's going through the. Oh, I saw that meme too. Yeah, and it was like they had the same exact criminal, you know, type activities, you know. But then one was elected president, one was pretty much fired from his entire life. And I just and thought that, that was, now, that's interesting. Like, if you 100% support Donald Trump, I think you're a fucking moron. Only because hey! I'm not even thinking about his policies. I'm thinking, I think he's just like old and senile. You know what I mean? I think like he's old. I know, David, but why gotta be so mean? Like, <laughs> everyone knows I'm a closet Trump lover. Fuck. <laughs> Is it, cause like, well, I, I guess it's not so closet anymore. He's just so senile. Like, it's not. I'm not even talking about like on the polit. I'm just talking. I think he's like lost his mind. Mm. I like to believe mm. it's a tactic. Like he's being the fucking male bimbo, like Paris Hilton. Yeah, me being hopeful is thinking that yeah. too. I'm like, I, I think he's a genius. Somewhere. There's something. That we, I don't my, know. my last straw was him just going <laughs> because he goes. Uh, he comes up and then he's like telling everybody that he his wife wishes. And she was here right now, and she's right next to him. <laughs> 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 comes out, my wife sends you idiot. her best wishes. She wishes she was here right now, and her face goes. <laughs> <laughs> right, so she, he forgot that his own wife was right next to him <laughs> on stage. I was like, oh, he's lost his mind. <laughs> what, what if, though, president work is really hard? Because remember how Obama came in looking fresh, and then all of a sudden he got gray hair? And it hasn't been a year yet. <laughs> yeah, it's, been, it's been a couple months. Yeah, it's been a few months. It hasn't even been a full year yet. Hope you guys enjoyed that episode of JK News. Make sure to stay connected because we're constantly updating our social media. So follow us at JK Films for Instagram and at JK Films for Twitter. To watch more videos, click right over here.